Hi everybody, and welcome to another edition of Shy Sprites. I'm Michael. I'm James. And we're going to be playing a game with you today that I sure a lot of you remember. Um, I've never played it, <laughs> but I remember it. Uh, it is the sequel to the N64 one, but it's not a direct sequel. Um, so you, if you haven't played the N64 one, don't be like, oh no, I haven't played this before, it's fine. This is my fault. I've been playing ahead so I can not make a total ass out of myself. Good. Dude, loud. this music's so intense. It's great. Oh, let me turn that down a little bit. Okay. So, let, we going with I named myself Mario in the last one because I wanted to be super, super... Be completely super. faithful to it? Yes. I would like to... Oh, let's name myself something completely ridiculous. Oh, you can do the capitals, though. Otherwise, it doesn't count. What? There's capital versions of him on the left side. Oh! Uh, well, I was gonna use these because it looked like he had a little eyebrow. Well, you can use that one. Look, that one does too. This is like a bigger it's eye. It's a bigger eye because I, I was gonna make like this. Yay! So it's little eyes. So it's like, because <laughs> he's got a little angry face on. Well, there's a smiley one down Wait, there. Wait, is. Let's see. Is B the. Okay. If I did. <laughs> oh! He's got a little mustache! That's my name. Yoy. Yoy. It's because he's got a little angry eyebrow, a little angry eyebrow, and then he's got his little mouth and his little mustache, or his little nose holes, depending on what you think. Should I make him angry, or should I make him like this? Gee. Gee. That one just looks like a smiley face on its own, though. See? All right. Well, then we'll stick with his little pencil mustache. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Yoi! Okay, so if you've never played a Paper Mario game, um, they are kind of like the Super Mario RPGs on the sort SNES. Sort, sort of. of. It's a turn-based RPG, so it's not like a platform or anything, but there are platforming elements to it. Uh, oh, that's Picari, and he is a character from the last game. He is a paratrooper you team up with, and he just wanted to be a mailman. Or he's a mailman. He's Luigi. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. I like to think Mario was like, Go get to my mail, Luigi. Now. <laughs> hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Pizza Speech arrived for you. You get to be Mario. All right, I don't think he has a voice. You can keep being Luigi. You can be Luigi if you want to be. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <laughs> it's a robot? Yeah. Ahem. Now let's see here. <laughs> Why is he a robot? He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> oh, this is Peach. Hello, Mario. I'm on Wait, holiday. Why not these overly, like... Why you not? Make a funny voice. Oh. Hey, Mario. In my travels, I came in possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It's from inside a box I got from an old merchant, Rogueport. But since it'd be difficult for me to try to go find the treasure myself, I thought I'd call you to help me hunt for it. You mean, I'll, I'll go do all, it, all of it, <laughs> and you'll do nothing? I think most of the game, you're going to spend chasing after her. You're real, she, you're, she's really helping. She's a huge help. <laughs> she does get kidnapped, too. I'm going to keep going. I'll meet you in Rogueport. That means you must come. That's like Dr. Professor from The Venture Brothers. <laughs> Dr. Girlfriend? Dr. Girlfriend. Dr. Girlfriend and more of a, oh, oh yeah. What do you know here? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. Check it out. Yeah, because Mario doesn't talk. He just emotes. Like, he nods, and he'll, like, tilt his hat, and he'll, like, go, woohoo! Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. That was crazy That was shit. crazy as hell. Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It's no, just it, the Thousand Year Paper Door. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. One thousand so, years. So, this setting is kind of weird because Rogueport, like, as you're going to see here, has very interesting uh, decorum choices. Especially for a Mario game. How do you pronounce that? Prologe? <laughs> Prologe? A, a Rugi's Welcome. Rugi Bat. She's not in this game. It's a different franchise. Yeah, but Nintendo and Sega now. Nintendo for the most part, don't they? No, Sega's still Sega, 
The mate game's on it. Mario's been asleep this whole time, by the way, and so I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna be like, oh! Oh, look at that! I made the paper! How can there be water in paper boats? I don't know. <laughs> Ask Nintendo. Excuse me, Nintendo? Excuse me, Reggie? Excuse me, Reg? Tell Reg Meister. Yep, yeah, but look, the boat's not paper. Look, it's clearly 3D. It's like made, all the stuff in the game that's like 3D is still made of paper. <laughs> if like, you can make a paper boat. You've never seen paper boats before? I mean, you can make a paper boat. Maybe. That's possible. You can. I've seen you. You can race paper boats. You can make them. Yeah, but when they just fall apart over time, so like, eventually that boat. They have to rebuild this boat. Yeah. Why? Well, every I, time that they're gonna leave the harbor and come back. Oh God. Whoa. That was an awful noise. That was terrible. So okay, first thing you want to do is hit the save block because we should always save the game. Blah blah blah. Do you know how to save your game? Have you ever played a video game before? I haven't. I don't have save shit, as we all have learned. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Uh oh. Oh, it's Goombella. What a and hottie. <laughs> what a hot little Goomba. Uh, she had a little scarf and her little pigtail. That's how you know she's a girl. She's got her pigtail. Uh, so that's uh, I believe his name is Crump. And he wants to know about the stars. Like that dance? I like to. Th I've always thought he had that kind of a voice. I suppose it would be for a like you. Oh, so he sounds like Bane. Almost. He sounds like a. I didn't mean for him to sound like Bane. He's supposed to sound like fat. He's got like a. That's like a Bane voice. It's like a fat Bane. Boys, we're taking this by a brand new fortress. That's like a. That's like. That's all. You're almost doing like a fat Bane. Fat Bane. He could be fat Bane. Look at him. Hey, Bane. Little his little bane, bane his little banelings. Okay. And then they oh, roll. banelings, okay. Yeah, because they look like him. You mean banelings from, like, StarCraft? No. <laughs> I've never even played StarCraft 2. I like, uh, like Patchy, the, the boss. She was like, someone help me, please. Nah, you're stupid. You're a bitch. He just, <laughs> he just killed himself. <laughs> yeah, if you jump in the water... You Ooh. get hurt and you. A, a piranha hits you. A little you? piranha bites you. We'll bite your butt. Which is funny because if your partners fall in the water. Like I go anywhere with you. You're not gonna do the funny voices. I'm not gonna do the funny voices. Let's just not do voices. Let's not do voices. Because people can read, unless our viewers are like, you know, illiterate. <laughs> I like to think uh, that our friends and family aren't illiterate. Our subscribers aren't illiterate. Everybody. Crump a bomb. <laughs> Or Crump A bomb, he's just gonna nuke the whole town. Uh oh, first this, fight. This okay. is your first fight. It's a so, tutorial. You okay. Can't flee, yeah, you can't flee. It's a stage show, so this just furthers the idea that everything in Mario is a stage show. Just this. So, all battles, all battles are gonna be as a stage show. And as you're gonna see later, I get an audience depending on how good I'm doing in the fight. And you can make moves stylish. Like, watch. So, I can <gasps> swing my hammer. Bink. And I can do a little flip afterwards. And it's. Why did that hit you? The backdrop fell on me. <laughs> Keep it up and we'll beat you in no time. So you can do quick time events in this every time you do anything and it'll like change it. So like the enemies can attack you and you can like time A and as you saw you can do like a little dodge. Can you keep doing them? Because I know in Super Mario RPG you can yes. like, infinitely do them. So you, you, There's can, one you, can... you can effectively go through this game without getting hit? Mm, kind of. Some enemies have moves where even if you dodge, it'll hurt you. Now, unless you do the super guard, which takes a lot more timing, but you'll hurt them back. And in some cases, you can outrightly kill the enemy. And that's your experience down in the bottom corner. Uh, y'all can't see that, so... <laughs> Later. Okay. <laughs> Fucking pop-up showed up, it's like... Do you want some more spyware? <laughs> do you want some? Do you want to? You want to update? No. Not not really at all. Uh, but Crump is defeated, and we're about to get swarmed. <laughs> it's go time! Oh no! Look, it's the red shirts. <laughs> it's the red shirts. Uh, are we gonna live? We'll oh, find out next. Me. 
<laughs> Punish me, Cap! <laughs> We're gonna find out next time if Mario and Goombella make it out of the situation. See you guys later! Goodbye.